Hello guys and welcome to F1 2019, part number one of my career mode. Normally, we get updates from Codemasters every year and there's like little tiny changes, but this year, a lot has changed. They've spent a lot more time on this game, improved the engine, improved the graphics, they've added F2, they've done loads of stuff to multiplayer, and um, yeah, so they spent, I believe, about two to three years on this game, so not just like a yearly update. Um, also, this will be the first time I've ever done a video using a wheel. Yes, I'm using an actual steering wheel to play the game. I've never done it before. I don't have much experience with wheels, but yeah, I thought it'd be cool. Something a little bit different. Also, as a thank you for clicking on the video and for being awesome, I'm giving away one copy of the game. All you gotta do is simply subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and let me know in the comments what team I should pick for my career mode. Done, that's it. That's all you gotta do. And I might, depending on how well the video does, I might up it to two copies. We'll see how it goes. But definitely one copy, 100%. Uh, right, driver. Uh, so I'm gonna customize my driver. This will be my driver for career mode. I've started in a little bit already. How many faces are there? Uh, there's quite a few. Feels like there's more than usual. Uh, I believe you can't customize the face, but you've got a bunch of presets now. And you guys might recognize... If you guys watch the um, eSport, you may recognize this man. <laughs> He's the guy on the finger, and he got really angry. Is that Ayrton Senna? I can be Ayrton Senna in career mode. What? Or Alan Prost, look at that nose. That is a mighty fine nose. I'm gonna go for this dude. Yeah. I pick you, my friend. Uh, region. <clears throat> so I'm gonna pick this guy as my, my avatar, yeah. I've made my decision. As tempting as it is to be Ed and Senna, I'm not quite good. I'm not quite good enough yet. Uh, I come from the UK, so that's what I've gone with on that front. Uh, Scott Coleman, mate, which is my name. Um, I was hoping for Coleman, but they do have Scott available. So Scott, Scott. Scott. So yeah, I'm gonna be number 45. Obviously, 44 is taken. My favourite driver. So I'm gonna go for the next one up, 45. So that is my number. So look out for that number. Again, there's not, I say this every year, there's not enough helmets. Not enough at all. Could go for just a, a bog standard, just white. I don't know what I want to go for. I want to go for something quite striking, quite bright. I quite like uh, Lando Norris's helmet, actually. Uh, I know it's like a sort of yellow and blue, I think. Uh, I'm going to go for, I think, that one. There is some premium helmets. We can go for an Ayrton Senna helmet and Alan Prost. And these ones you have to buy, which, I mean, they look all right, but really? I've got to pay for that? And then we can select the suit. This is probably more for online, I would imagine. Again, a lot of these are locked under credits. I like the green one. I think the white one probably goes quite well with the helmet, though. I've got, got to buy these suits. Really? That, is, oh, that does not feel good. Uh, we do have an Ayrton Senna suit and a pros suit. Ooh, they both look pretty good. I'm guessing they'll probably add more suits later on. Uh, what else have we got left? Gloves. So at the moment we've got black gloves. I think I want to go for all black. Premium gloves, Ayrton Senna gloves again. It is obviously very tempting to go for a fu fully fledged Ayrton Senna uh, copycat for career mode, but no, I'm not going to do it. I'm just not good enough. You'll see soon, <laughs> believe me. Right, so let's start a new career mode. In F1 2019, you'll be invited to start your career by selecting a Formula 2 team. Driving for this team, you'll experience some key moments of a Formula 2 season, a thrill-packed racing championship in its own right, and the springboard to Formula 1. At the end of this feeder series, your choice of driver academy and your performance in F2 will determine the terms of the contracts offered by the teams as you embark upon your career in Formula 1 and begin to write your own chapter of motorsport history. So this is the new thing for F1 2019. F2 is the big reason you want this game. And you can do a feeder series. You can skip it if you want to, go straight to F1. You can do whatever you want, um, but we're gonna select our F2 team. So I believe there is uh, three short races and this will determine who you go with for F1. Uh, I'm gonna go for Carlin. Yep. 
So now we've got to select our academy, a very important decision. You can, I believe, select uh, a team outside of this academy if you do well enough and you get enough uh, of respect. But you earn extra points with these teams within the academy that you select. Ho hopefully that makes sense. I was tempted by Mercedes, but to be honest, I hate the, the false India or uh, Racing Point uh, livery and I don't like the livery for Williams Racing. So that's crossed it off for me. Not a fan. Ferrari is very, very tempting. I love the look of the Haas. I love the look of the Alpha. Love the look of the Ferrari. Uh, it's got, we've got potential there. So Ferrari is very tempting. Uh, Red Bull's always tempting. Renault's only got one team and that's it. McLaren's only got one team. I could go for none. Just, be, just do my own thing if I wanted to. I'm going to go for the Ferrari Academy. Yeah, I'm doing it. Right, so this, uh, we are jumping straight into event three. So we've missed some races. We have our rival, Devin Butler, and we have Weber, which is our, uh, our teammate. So, yeah, very important people within the story arc. So pay attention. Harlan's new driver really commanding the race here. Devon Butler still ruthlessly giving chase. These two have been really scrapping it out for the early wins in the championship. And something's wrong. Butler sees his chance. Some kind of mechanical failure. Picking up speed again. It's unclear what the issue was. Can they still finish this race? Looks like an issue with the turbo. You've lost some speed at the top end, but you're very close to the finish. You can still compete and get some points here. Don't give up. Just do the best you can. We're all behind you. So my turbo's gone. The tyres are getting old. My teammate's behind me. Uh, what more could possibly be going wrong right now? I remember I've not really used the steering wheel too much. Um... <laughs> on any racing game, let alone F1. So give me um, a couple of races to get used to it, at least. Your teammate is approaching and wants to get past. Repeat, Lucas wants to pass you. I bet he does. So he has, his engine's completely fine. And um, basically it's his team orders right now. I am Bottas, I am Kimi Raikkonen. So what do I do? Do I defend? Do Again, I... your teammate oh. wants to pass you. I know you don't want to drop a position, but without your turbo, he's the best one to challenge for points further up the field. I honestly don't think I have the pace. You could be denying the team points. Uh, I might have let him pass, to be honest. I mean, this is a team game. He's going to overtake me anyway, so... I don't think I really have much option. Break nice and early, give him lots of space. That's great. Luke Probably too much space. Come on. There we go. Let's get back on the track Lucas and get going. Pass on his I know it's frustrating, but you made the right call for the team. Oh my god. Where are these tyres? They have left the building. Let's see if we can try and really get some time down. Really try and build up that confidence. F2 cars generally obviously don't have the same amount of downfalls as an F1 car. So it's a completely different car really. And I've never used the steering wheel in a game before. <laughs> so let's just take it easy. Try and hold on to sixth place. Uh, Maybe, I don't know. I think we're going to try and hold on to six. I think that's the max we can do, really. So I really want to just bring the car home in one piece, break nice and early, try and nudge the apex. A little bit too close to the apex, and it's sort of uh, had to correct. These corners scare me. That curb, man, I really did ride that curb pretty hard there. Take it nice and easy. Remember, the grip levels are gone. I can't change for new tyres. The race is almost complete. Oh, my teammate just set a fastest lap. I'm so far off at that pace right now. It is stupid. I'm so far off. So far off indeed. Again, that's probably due to my tyres. Due to myself, of course, as well. And of course, the turbo not working. Just lift there a little bit. In F1 car, with new tyres, you can do it flat. Like, no issues. At all. It shows you the difference. This is this is why this is the feeder formula for F1. It's nowhere near the speeds or the downfalls of F1. Nowhere near it. Starting to feel a little bit more confident with the car. 
very careful with some of these apexes. I really like how with the, the pedal and the wheel I can really manage my acceleration a bit more. Where with the controller I feel like maybe I, feel, I didn't have much control over it at all really. Not a good second sector there. A little bit cautious. As you can see the arrows of my opponents behind me. Oh, come on Scott, keep it going. Sector one was really good and then I just yeah, slowed right down. This is a hard track, it's very technical. It's not really a Scott track. <laughs> oh man, the back end stepped out. I'm just hold on to this sick place. It's all I need to do. Whew. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Got it. I just want a sick place right now. That's all I want. That is all I want. Really gotta try and improve that first corner. <laughs> That was not good. That was not pretty. It's not pretty at all. If I was racing a bit better, I feel like maybe fifth or fourth could be on the cards. Oh, a bit wide. Really feel the tyres starting to give up. And it's a tiny bit petrifying. I'm not gonna lie. Stop trying to step out on me! Jesus! And again. Oh, this is not a drift track. This is F2. That's it. Accelerate! Oh, I'm a bit late. Oh, it's far too late there. It's not going to be right under pressure. I keep the inside line, make it as tricky as possible for them to overtake me. Break. My main rival has won the race. Devon Butler has won. How annoying is that? But we held on to sixth place despite the issues of lack of power. The turbo gave up and we did well done, it. We stayed finish. cool. You stepped up and achieved what we asked. Good job. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. And guys, I will improve. I'm probably slightly better with the controller, but the wheel, I, I will learn. Davide, what do you think made the difference here? I think what won them the race was their ability to adapt. At every point, they delivered what was needed. They were calm and steady when they needed to be, but they were ruthless and aggressive when it was demanded of them. There wasn't anything out there that they weren't preparing to handle. Let's see if they can keep it up this season. Another race and another victory for Russian time, as we see the drivers make their way out to the podium for the final ceremony. Superb racing out there today, and a well-deserved win. So Devin Butler looks like he is in complete control of this championship, which is a uh, yeah, slight concern, not going to lie. There was definitely a few factors in terms of the pace. The pace wasn't great though. The turbo, the tyres were a bit old, but the pace was not quite there. So I've, I've definitely got to improve uh, my driving with the wheel. F1 drivers receive a lot of media attention and how you deal with the press can have an impact on several aspects of your career. Interviews, can occur after any session of a race weekend, according to what happens and how you perform. Got it. How you answer the interview questions can affect your reputation with both your own and other teams. Uh, the morale of your R&D department and whether you become known for your sportsmanship or showmanship. Consider your answers carefully, but don't take too long because the time is limited. All right, got it. There you are. That was an exciting race. It definitely got people talking about you, which means I was able to secure a quick interview. Okay, we're all set over here. Just a minute. Remember, anything you say to the press can go very, very public. So be relaxed, but also be conscious of what you're saying and how it might come across to other people, okay? Got it. I think we're ready. 
I think the Guinness right. is more practice for F1. So, yeah. So Emma keeps telling me you're the one to watch this season. Yes. If that's true, you'll be doing plenty of these. Just remember, be yourself. Got and it. the more you can give me, the better this will go. Right, stand here. Turn a little this way for me. Perfect. Ready? Let's do An it. An exciting race today. Let's get your perspective. All right. So you and Lucas are new to the team. How are you settling in? Um... Let's be, let's be professional. The team is doing a fantastic job. Yeah, got a good teammate as well. Okay, so how did you feel about being ordered to give up the position to Lucas? To be honest, it was more of like a, a malfunction with the car. And that's not really a possible answer. It is what it is. That's, that's what I'm going to say. Showmanship. Great. Well, that's everything. I mean, the car broke down. It is what it is. I mean, it broke on me. It, the car literally stopped, and then the turbo completely just went kaput. So, there wasn't really much I could do. Hey, look, I know that wasn't easy letting me pass, but it was the right choice. It was good driving. Yeah, yeah, that's how I describe it, mate. Just, just good, not great. One in six. One in six makes the leap to F1. The other five are still watching their less talented teammates collect all their points. Shame, really. A lot of great drivers never get their chance because they do it all for the team. Those teams got us here. Yeah, but it's the drivers that take the risk. We should get the rewards. You ever won a race in F1? That's how winners think. Hmm, and remind me, how many F1 races have you won? Watch this space. At the end of this championship, I'll be the one lifting the trophy and I won't use my teammates to nick the podium. Okay, I'm out. You believe what you want, Devon. But it's still early days. He's either very clever or you're just a pushover. You really think if the situation was reversed, he'd do the same for you? You want to start looking out for yourself. No one else will. I didn't have much option. My turbo stopped working. Like, what am I supposed to do? I have no power. But yes, I could have forcefully held him back. Devin Butler locked in wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing with his championship rival, desperate to shut them down and stop them getting past. And there's contact. Butler simply left them nowhere to go. There was just no way for them to have avoided that. And look, there's significant damage. Butler, you Not sure if that was Butler. down to recklessness or sheer aggression, but I'm sure the stewards are going to have something to say very shortly. It was stupidity. Absolute stupidity. That was dangerous. Incredibly dangerous. You're still in this race. I mean, I feel like giving up, to be honest. Where are we at? 11th? 15th? Something like that? Something stupid like that. We are 11th. Oh, great. Fantastic. We do have DRS available. Oh, my God. What the hell? I was breaking for ages. Uh, I'm going to give that a retry. I was breaking for absolute hours. I would not trigger it. It would not break. Let's try that again. Sorry, guys. We'll take a little bit of practice. Now I break too much. Oh. Yeah, it breaks far too much there. Okay, the stewards have awarded Devon a penalty. Oh, I bet they have. You can still catch him. You can still beat him. Thank God for flashbacks. Thank God for flashbacks. We've got to try and work on my positioning, but we've got a new nose. I don't know if they changed the tyres or not. I feel pretty grippy, to be honest. Devin is coming in for a stop. Come on, man. Let's get my speed up a little bit. Both red sectors. Should be going for this now. Absolutely flying. Right, where is my my main yeah, competitor? Purple last sector. More like it. Freak. 
really got to start pushing now. Come on. We do have DRS available if we need it. Oh, this corner again. That's a bit better. The gap to the car behind is 3.8 Say a bit. Seconds. Tiny bit. Purple for first sector. Yes. I lose so much time in that corner, though. Right there, it's not good enough. Really poor second sector. Devon sat in P8. P8, got it. I feel like that might be a little bit ambitious. You never know. And yeah, not a massive surprise. Red second sector. Let's see if we can try and push for another purple third sector. And get into that DRS zone. We are close. The RS is enabled. Let's try and go for a lunge. Uh, slam the brakes on. Woo! Devon is a couple of places. Tenth place. Do you have the RS, or does the guy behind me have the RS? The guy behind me. And hold on to temp and try and move forward again if we can. That was man, defending now in this game is crazy. Like AI does not give you any space. He's all over me. Like a rash. He's not happy. Sat in P8. I think P8 might be a little bit ambitious. Still got a few laps, but yeah, I think it might be pushing my luck a little bit. I mean, it wasn't a great lap, but I did have to do an overtake, which definitely does not speed up your lap at all, even with the, the DRS. I mean, maybe ninth for a push, but I don't think I have the pace right now. Devon's P7 at the moment. P7, damn it. He's actually going up the order. It's not what we want. <laughs> Purple first sector, though. I'm really pushing now in the second sector. A little bit late there on the acceleration. Starting to get a little bit more confident now, he says. The green sector on that one. Come on. Trying so hard. Might be a best lap of the Grand Prix. Green split. So the guy in front is two seconds ahead. Starting to use a little bit more of the uh, of the of the racetrack. Trying to absolutely ring it. Oh no! No 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 no! Not even that. So incredibly hard. Honestly. So hard. Don't know why it's so tricky. We've only got well one and a half laps left now. So I gotta do something very, very special, and that is not special, that is bad. Bad, bad driving. I did turn the AI the AI up quite high. I'm not making it easy for myself. I sort of wanted a challenge. I'm definitely getting that. Devin 
Seven sat in P8. Come on. Let's get, try and get one more place. One more place. That is all I ask. What sort of racing line that is, but I'll take it. The pack is right there. Oh, fell there with the BRS. Final lap, final lap of the race. The steering wheel starting to get a bit hot. It's working hard. Oh, we're close. The car has started to drop back. There's a gap beginning to form. Back to fun space. Oh, a bit of a nudgy nudgy. I really do apologise about that. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I had nowhere to go. You did not leave me space. That's still not an excuse. Right, Butler's right there. Ah, oh, I'm not gonna do it, am I? I'm not gonna do it. I definitely have the potential, though. Alex Albans won the race. Oh man, look how close it is. There he is, Butler, right there. That is so aggravating. Oh, we are so close, this is so annoying. Not only that, the 7th is right there as well. Damn. Oh well. Well done, good finish. You stepped up and achieved what we asked. Good job. Oof. Made up a few places, but Butler's right there. Oh. So another fantastic Damn. victory for Dams today. So, Davide, what did you make of that? Well, it was a bit of a roller coaster, I think. Absolutely congratulations, Harry Norder here. That was a spectacular race and a fantastic drive for our win. I think, though, that after the race, there's going to be a lot of eyes on Devon Butter regarding that collision. He's been very lucky today, in more than one way. Lucky to have walked away, lucky to have only received a penalty. It's a shame his rivals wasn't equally lucky. And I can see our drivers making their way out now. It's been a sublime team performance, and it's the culmination of a lot of hard work. Dams are your winners today. So there we go. Devin Butler is just in front. We are on 177 points. Oh, he's so close. Look how close he is. That is annoying. That is incredibly annoying. It's about. I just realised my my wheel hasn't been um, installed that well. So when I steer, sometimes the, the wheel actually moves. Today. Let's talk it's about not it. Great. Right, it seems to me that collision with Devon clearly cost you a lot of time. Are you disappointed with the final result? Um, it's outrageous that Devon Butler got away with a fight. Is that what you got? That's outrageous. Five seconds, is that it? So did you ever think you'd get the place back from Devon? Uh, I hoped I'd catch him, but the gap turned out to be too large. Yeah, I agree with that. The gap was, the gap was too much. Um, yeah, it was too high, I'm sorry. It was too big. I've seen that you and Lucas have been picking up a lot of points recently. What do you think of your championship chances? Uh, we've been carrying a lot of momentum recently in the last few races. Uh, I don't want to speculate, but I prefer to do my talking out on the track. Our results are a reflection of the incredible work of the entire team. Ah, let's go for that, yeah. The teams are massive. So many people. Appreciate your time. It's not just about one person. In my opinion, anyway. Oof. Oh, so my butler was just there. Yeah, so sometimes when I steer, the whole wheel is literally moving. Hey, Devin. <laughs> Devin, stop. No, no, I'm busy. Hey. What are you doing up there? Seriously. I'm going to celebrate my excellent drive. We saw what you did. It was reckless. You should have been black flagged. Yeah, and I wasn't because it was my line. You were in my space. You shouldn't have been. Next time, stay out of my way. No! Someone could have been hurt. And that didn't happen, so what's your problem? My problem is that your actions out there are too dangerous. Listen, contact happens, okay? I took my penalty, but I kept it focused, kept it smooth, and came out on top. That's racing! I'm going to grovel to you every time I make a top move. Do you want to play race director? Then quit driving and take the job. Until then, I don't owe you anything. Devin, you don't get it. It's not me you should be apologizing to. Look, you grab your space on the track and then it's all or nothing. That's just how it goes. And anyway, 
You still couldn't beat me, even with my penalty. So no hard feelings, okay? Not from my end, anyway. Chin up. He had a five second penalty. Five seconds. I had a lot more than that. <laughs> right, so we're about to go into the last and final round of the feeder series of F2. And look at the points. Oh my. <laughs> we are equal on points with Devon Butler. Can I beat him and get a championship? That is my goal. I've got a bit of a feeling I can't do it, but I'm, I'll give it an almighty go. That's all, that's all I can do. Let's see what happens. So here we are in Abu Dhabi. Each and every event in the Formula 2 calendar has led us here to this, the final event of the championship, and one that promises to be a spectacle every bit as exciting as we might have hoped. So the Yaz Island circuit offers 21 corners and a lap distance of around 3.4 miles. There are a few opportunities to pass with long straights and DRS zones in two places, turns 8 and 11. Plenty of close racing then, plenty of speed, and plenty of excitement for the fans, no doubt. Joining me for one last time here this year is Davide Valsecchi. Davide, I'm glad you're here, because I think I'm going to need help processing all this. Surely, this is as exciting as it gets. Yeah, you're right, Alex. It's the perfect finale. Two drivers, rivals of season, now going into the final race, tied on points both way out in front at the top of the standings, meaning whichever of these two drivers cross the line first will be crowned the champion. I can't wait. Devon Butler in fourth place. I'm in eighth. You know what I gotta do. I gotta beat him. That's all I gotta do. But four places in F2 is a lot. We're all exactly the same car. He could make up some places as well, so feeling particularly that I'm a little bit scared there about hitting the person in front of me, Alex Albon, and I panicked a little bit and I braked far too much. So I actually lost the place. Not good. Not good. A little bit aggressive here. That works. Two places in one corner. Oh, that someone did not like that. Hence, they tried to barge me off. Steering lock. Bit of bump and grind at the start, but it's all good. Up to seventh. Yep, made up one place. After all that. Oh, it's in P3. Oh. Break. Next up, my teammate. He should let me pass. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Come on, teammate, get out of my way! Slow me down. What you gotta do is get out of my way and I can and then you can push through the pack. I just need that place so bad. For the championship. I did it for you, you can do it for me. It's tempted to go for a late lunge here, but I'm, I'm just too far back. Yeah, and I break far too early. I don't want to take out my teammate, ideally. P3, damn it! Teammate, get out of my way! Ooh. Ooh. I had no idea what happened to my brakes there, but somehow I made that work ish. I don't know how, but I did. Ooh. Up to six! Oh, we should have DRS. Come on. Give me DRS. Please, please, please. Come on, slipstream. Annoyingly, he has it as well, so I'm not really going to be able to do much unless I make a very late lunge, but it's going to be risky. Devon is a couple of places up on you. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. Do we have DRS again? Oh, the AI is so much better this year. Normally the AI would just give up in that scenario. 
Not this year. It, we are so close. So, so close. Devon is a couple of places up on you. That was rough, but I think we got it. I think we got it. Woo! We got it. Unless he gets DRS and then we're screwed. Good point. <laughs> oh, man. This race is intense. Fifth place. We started eighth. Making good progress. Now it's all about trying to be a little bit consistent and trying to chase down Mr. Russell himself. Right, I'm trying to work out, do I wait for DRS? Yeah, I think so. Stay nice and close. Close as you can. Oh, really close. Try and get a really good run. We are close. We are very, very close here. Can we get DRS? Come on, DRS! Oh, come on. Oh, he's got DRS as well. Oh, of course he has. Of course he has. Butler is ahead of you. Yep, I'm aware. Man, Russell is not messing about. Oh, you can see why he's F2 champion. I need to do the overtake there. And I... One sec, one sec. Might be an opportunity. Need to get this done. Oh, we got it done, we got it done. Yep. And there is Butler. It's actually going quite slow. I don't think an overtake's possible here. Oh, oh defend your ground, Butler. You fool. We are currently on the podium. Wow. We just barged him out of the way. That is revenge for Austria. <laughs> I don't care what they say, that was a fair overtake, we banged wheels, it's fine. All I've got to do now is finish the Grand Prix, finish the last lap, and we're done. Woo! Let's get this car home. That was an absolutely insane race. Not the cleanest of overtakes, but... What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Ugh. I want to lose my wheel now or lose a wing. That'd be stupid. Yeah, my nose behind me. We should have the RS. That was a terrible exit. I might be under a bit of pressure here. Oh no. This is bad. Have to go around me. Of course I don't make it easy for myself. I should have stopped. Oh, you are kidding me. Ahead. Damn it! I'm not giving up on this. No chance. It's still there. So I break nice and early. Keep the inside line. This has been one eventful race. Basically, you screw up one corner or a sequence of corners and you lose so much time. So much time. And you sort of lose your momentum as well. And that's sort of terrifying. Couple of corners though. And then we will be announced as the F2 champion. Couple more corners. He's still right there. He's putting pressure on me. He's angry. It's been a terrible day for him. Well, he had the F2 championship in his hands and now took it away. We are champions! Well done, good finish. Woo! You stepped up and achieved what we asked. Good job. I'm sweating. Jesus. That was It's been my privilege insane. over the years to witness a number of great sporting events and here's another to add to that prestigious list. It's the ultimate dream for any racing driver. We have a new Formula 2 World Champion. Great effort there from Prima to take the victory today. Talk to me, Davide. Was it everything you hoped for? Everything and more. He had it all. The arrival, the tension, the excitement. These two drivers have been locked in fierce competition all season. 
and to see it comes down to head-to-head -head battle for the line like this, well, these kind of things doesn't happen very often. Devon put in a good performance throughout the championship, but today the accolade goes to his rival and the new Formula 2 champion. First of all, congratulations, you must be thrilled. I am. Wow, you're the driver's right champion. <laughs> Amazing, feel? I want to thank everyone on the team for their hard work. It feels great. It's been a close, hard-fought season, but I'm really pleased with the result. Despite some unfortunate incidents earlier in the season, the best driver won at the end of the day. Agree. Definitely so agree with that. So that was a thrilling end to the season. How it was, was the race for you? It was crazy. Um, it wasn't easy. It was a great race, and I'm pleased with the result. 100%. It was challenging, but the team really pulled together. And shows and it shows in the results. I'm gonna be confident. I'm gonna say I I never I never doubted myself ever. Wow, we've been hearing rumors of a possible future for you in Formula One. Care to comment? I don't want to speculate, but any of the F1 teams are interested, I'd definitely take the call. All I can say is that I would love the opportunity to race against the best in the world. I know I'm not. I know I'm one of the best drivers in the world. Given any chance, I'll prove it to everyone. Let's do it. Let's go for that one. Yeah. Great. Well, that's everything. Confident. That's what we like. Lots of confidence. That's what you need in this sport. You got. You got to have a bit of an ego. Congratulations, mate. F2 champion. Hey. Congratulations. Enjoy it. This is the last time it will ever happen. Devon, it's okay to be upset. You came very close. Yeah, yeah. We know things would have turned out very differently if I didn't get slapped with that ridiculous penalty. What is it with you and complaining? Look, somehow you managed to do a lot of things right today. It's great. You needed the win. I didn't. For me, this was always just a stepping stone to F1. Oh, you two. You two. You got your work cut out for you now that I'm gone. See, you're going to have to prove to everyone it was more than just luck that got you here. Sure. Winning one race is luck. Winning the championship is talent. Really? Next time you use that incredible talent to ram into someone and steal all their points, remember they won't be as forgiving as I am. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I gotta run. Yeah, things to sign, important paperwork and all that. I'm sure you understand. Ciao! So, with this big win, you're gonna be getting a lot of interest. All I can say is choose wisely, or else you might end up with someone like Devon as your teammate. Come on, let's go celebrate. Yeah, imagine that. That would be horrible. Absolutely horrible. Ah, oh, welcome. Come on in. Take a seat. It's time we had the big conversation about your next move. Your performance at the F2 Championships last year got you a lot of attention from the Formula One teams. Some of it more positive than others. I'm not so concerned with who does or doesn't like you. You'll have plenty of time to win the doubt is over. But I am concerned with our choices. They're narrowing as we haven't shown commitment to anyone. Now, as your agent, my advice is to make your decision now. We can worry about comfort and finer points further down the line. I need you to review these. You've earned every single one of these proposals. So take your time, have a read through, and don't get too hung up on specifics. Let's get you a Formula One seat. Oh my God. Right, so what I'm gonna do is let you guys leave a comment below and decide what team I go with. Every team has offered a contract for Scott Coleman to join their team. I reckon Haas or Alpha personally, but if there's a certain um, direction in the comments, I will go with the comments. So leave the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day and bye-byes.